Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, I have five wines in front of me and I have to say that they are an interesting and eclectic bunch. Uh, I think we've got five different countries. Uh, I haven't quite got five different grape varieties, but not far off it. Uh, common theme, uh, the... Uh, let's start. Um, first one. Uh, actually, the first two are the same grape variety, so both made from Gamay, uh, but only one of them is from the traditional home of Gamay, and that's the first one. Uh, it, it's Aldi's uh, The Exquisite Collection Fleury 2010, uh, so of course made from Gamay. Let's give it a whirl. Soft sweet strawberry pudding. Um, I mean, the, the, I, I know there's some people who've got their 2012s on the shelf now, but um, 2009, 10, and 11 were really good vintages for Beaujolais. So um, if you can still get supplies of those, why move on to 2012, which is a little bit challenging, I think is the technical term. Uh, but here it smells like it's going to be soft, friendly, and um, well, let's, let's see. Well, there's an okay peppery red fruit character, uh, but um, maybe I'd, li I'd have liked to have seen it about a year or so ago. Uh, it's, uh, it doesn't feel like it's got quite the concentration and the matière to, uh, uh, to be a Beaujolais that uh, is still looking good at three years old. It's looking okay, uh, and I certainly wouldn't, uh, probably even might have a little bit of a second glass of it, but um, it's, it, there, there, are, there are better Beaujolais around, but I don't think there's probably quite many that are, are quite as affordable as this. Okay, it's o it's okay. Right, let's see uh, Gamay in a different country. Um, so this is a Kleine uh, Zatzi uh, Gamay Noir uh, from whereabouts in uh, South Africa, coastal region. Um, and so let's give this a whirl. This smells younger, perkier, fruitier, uh, but uh, I I don't know. I quite like the aroma of the the, the soft straw strawberry. The soft strawberry allure of the uh, uh, of the previous one. Maybe this one feels like it's going to be a little bit too clean. Let's have a see. And there's that South African smokiness lurking in the background. Um, I don't mind the fruit. The fruit the, the, there is a juiciness and uh, richness, and um, it would be interesting to compare alcohols here. First one is 13%. And that feels like it's got a bit more poke to it. Uh, oh, also 13%. It, it just feels like a richer, fuller-bodied wine. Um, uh, it feels yeah, the, the grapes certainly uh, add a bit more ripeness, and that comes across in sweetness of fruit. Um, and uh, yeah, it feels like a more concentrated wine. I'm still not sure which I prefer. Uh, I like the um, I, I like that that peppery quality uh, of, of the first one. Here, there's that smoky, slightly burnt uh, flavour of the uh, uh, of South Africa. Hmm. Neither is uh, has, has me jumping up and going wow wow wow. Unbelievable, but I'll, I'll, maybe I'll give it another go. All right, let's see if we get uh, better with Pinot Noir. So for the Pinot Noir, we are in New Zealand, Villa Maria Reserve Pinot, two thousand and ten, and from the Marlborough region. This smells good. Uh, it's got the uh, allure that uh, that that, uh, that Pinot Noir should have. It's got this juiciness, uh, rounded, rich berries with a with a warm, earthy character. Um, and uh, there's something in there that's um, I was going to use the word medicinal, but it's, uh, that sounds a bit negative. It's, it's there's like a herbal uh, intensity here. Um, it feels warm, rounded, soft. Uh, it feels like it's going to be quite a fleshy and appealing wine, uh, but uh, maybe with a little bit of a cerebral quality as well. Let's have a see. And I like the smell, uh, but when I come to taste it, I was, I was talking about that medicinal note. There's something, something of that comes a little more to the fore. Um, and uh, there's still this juicy, nice, voluptuous fruit. Um, but I, it feels like it's slightly uh, constrained at the moment. I don't know whether it's something that, I mean, it's in the screw cup, screw cup and I've only just opened it, so it may need um, uh, a little bit of time to, to come out of its shell, but it feels that there is this medicinal herby character that's just uh, preventing that, um, that lushness from just going ha, ho, he. Um, so I will keep an eye on that. Uh, I'm tasting a couple of these wines with some people later on this evening, so uh, um, in, with pr probably in about three three hours' time. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see whether it has come out of its shell uh, more, and if it has, whether that's for the better or for the worse. Uh, I'm have another. I might as well finish this. I've only got a little bit in the glass. So yes, favourite so far, um, and um, that second taste was uh, better than the first. So uh, I think I, I think I think it will get better, but. Um, 
Mm. Feels like it's been made by someone who's just a little bit too controlling on Pinot Noir and could, could just have let, done with letting it fly a little bit more. At, uh, hey. um, wine number four. So uh, we've had uh, vaguely Burgundian family. We are heading into Austria now and nothing to do with Burgundy. Actually, well, I suppose you could, you could say this is to do with, a bit to do with uh, Burgundy. Uh, Zweigel grape um, is a cross between uh, two other uh, grapes. Uh, one of them, Bla Frankish, uh, is nothing to do with, uh, with Burgundy. But the other one, uh, Saint Laurent or Saint Laurent, um, is, um, some people consider it a, a, a distant cousin or even quite a close cousin of Pinot Noir. So uh, maybe some of that uh, juicy character will come through. Let's have a see. Oh, but I'll tell you what the wine is. Uh, so it's uh, Hans Igler uh, Classic Zweigelt uh, 2011. From, uh, where are you from? Um, blah, 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 blah. I can't see on the, on the back here. Um, ah, I got that, Bergenland. Well, it doesn't remind me so much as Pinot Noir as um, a grape from another country, Dolcetto from Italy. Uh, there's this uh, red berry and dark berry earthiness about it um, and uh, it smells like it's going to be uh, have some freshness there uh, and uh, a bit of crunch as well maybe um, maybe a, a little bit of Cabernet Franc black currant crunchiness in there too oh I like that uh, the chewy earthiness or earthy chewiness which is it um, uh, whatever it is it's um, it's tasty it's rounded it gives the, the inside of your mouth a little bit of a dusting up as it sort of flaps you around and say I've got a few rough edges but what are you going to do about it uh, but it's got all this juicy vibrant bouncy fruit about it uh, that makes you forgive it's uh, slightly now I was going to use the word rasping it's not rasping it's um, it's it's boisterous and um, yeah, it's, it's a darn tasty wine. Um, I want to uh, I want to glug that and I want to have it with that sort of sort of food that's got uh, uh, sweetness and fattiness about it. So ham hocks or lots of salami and um, yeah, tasty, tasty. I'm going to have another swig. Yum yum yum. Yeah, I do like that. Right, um, wine number five. Uh, so this is the 13.9% one, and it's uh, Kozlovic Terran. Terran's a great variety from Istria uh, in uh, in Croatia. Kozlovic, the producer, and uh, let's give it a whirl. It's one of those wines that you stick your nose in there for the first time and you uh, think it's a bit stinky. And some stinky wines, uh, stinky meaning that uh, it feels... Uh, if you get that slight smell of a stagnant pond, as if there's something coming up from the, from the pond, uh, all you need is like a little bit of fresh water to go through it, uh, and uh, suddenly it's not quite as stagnant as it was. So uh, often wines like this, it's uh, to do with reduction in the wine, and um, it, it, it often blows off if you keep swirling it and, and, or decant it. I'm not going to decant it here because uh, I haven't got the time, uh, but I'm just going to give it a few more swirls and see uh, whether it improves. And it is coming out of its shell, uh, and it's revealing this. Um, it's strange. I, I was going to say a, like a dustiness about it. I think of dustiness when I think of warm uh, Spanish, uh, reds from warm parts of Spain. Uh, but there is a dusty earthiness here. Uh, but then round it, there's quite uh, a juicy, gentle. I don't know about gentle. There's this plummy berry, a uh, bit of black currant in there. Uh, but um, there's a, there's a savoury. Um, herbiness about it. Um, it feels almost like a cross between uh, something from the Rhone and something from Bordeaux with a little bit of Italian uh, spice, savoury herbiness thrown in. Is that enough metaphor? God, how, how many combinations of flavours can I get in there? Anyway, it smells interesting and the more I swirl it, the more interesting it gets. Well, you can feel the warmth of the uh, uh, of the alcohol in your mouth. It, um, you, the, uh, but you can also feel this uh, freshness um, and acidity, uh, having a little go at your gums. Um, and uh, so there's, there's there's tan in there. There's acidity. There's warmth and richness of alcohol. There's this uh, fruit that that manages to be on that plush, plummy end, but also on the um, the fresh black currant end as well. It's, it, it's it's almost like a blend of great varieties. The, the, the two of them are uh, sitting there and not um, and, and making nice music together. 
Uh, certainly a wine that if I were to, uh, uh, if, I, if, I, if I'd have more than a few bottles, I'd be interested to see how it would age. If I had just had one bottle, I'd give it a, chuck it in a jug and uh, leave it two hours and see what, ha what happens. Because uh, the more I, each time I taste it, it's getting better and better. Um, favourite of the ones? Well, I think the Zweigelt is up there. Uh, the Terran and the Pinot Noir. I, 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 I'd be inter interested to see what happens with the, with the Pinot Noir. The, but uh, if given the choice between, if I had to pick one of the five to have this evening, it'd be the Zweigelt and then either the Terran or the, the Pinot Noir. But with both of them, I think uh, that their best will be to come in an hour or so. Uh, by which time, uh, I, hopefully, you've gone and done something far more interesting than watching me. I am interesting, aren't I? I know I am, but. Uh, uh, I will better. I better shut up, shut up, hadn't I? And uh, get back to uh, saying, that's it. See you later, folks. Bye.